Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some wild weekend drama involving Ray J, Diddy's sons, and an unexpected peacemaker, Chris Brown. It all went down at a Halloween party in LA. And let's just say tensions hit a boiling point. Stick around to get the full story. All right, here's the setup. It's early Sunday morning, and Ray J is attending influencer Tara Electra's unruly agency Halloween party. Also there, Diddy's three sons, Christian, Quincy, and Justin. And it seems they were holding on to some resentment about the way Ray J has been talking about their dad. Now here's where things get intense. Ray J's been pretty vocal lately, especially after allegations surfaced against Diddy. He even cut ties, making it clear on Shannon Sharp's podcast is that he found Diddy's past actions toward Cassie unforgivable. So when the Combs brothers saw him at this party, they weren't exactly there to chat. Reports say they confronted him, accusing him of going too far in what he'd said. Things escalated, with two of the Combs brothers reportedly getting ready to throw punches. But then Chris Brown, who was also at the party, stepped in. Chris, along with some other partygoers, managed to defuse the situation and stop the confrontation from turning physical. Seems like Chris wasn't looking to see things go sideways that night. Ray J later confirmed what went down, jumping on Clubhouse with WAC 100. He admitted he was rushed by a group of about eight people people, including Diddy's sons. He also gave a shout out to Chris, who he said helped him talk things through instead of letting things get ugly. Ray J made it clear he wasn't there to fight. He was more focused on explaining his side. Stop hanging with Young Buck and now I'm gonna get the no, squad back on, with him. Ray J, Ray J, no, listen, listen now, everybody been calling me and you know until you call me, I feel like it's no big deal, all right? So I'm talking to the exposure homies. They talking about the Combs is trying to rush you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Uh, they tried to rush you in Miami? Nigga, in LA, nigga. Where? Bro, you know I'm not going to call y'all because this could go somewhere else. And I'm like, you know, at the club, dog. But don't, you didn't have donut then with you? So, how many of them was it? Two, three, what? I don't know, like eight. Oh, so it was them and eight, and they tried to rush you for real. Yeah, but don't put this up, blood. Nah, it's going out. Nah, blood. It's going, it's just going out, dog. Like, fuck them niggas down. So, my question to you is, can I put the other stuff out that we've been knowing about? They, they they too young, like that. Like, like, I, I moved away from it. Like, huh? I tried, to talk some, I tried to talk some sense into, like, what happened, but I just, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, the homie Chris is here. What, wait, what Chris? Chris Brown, bro. But, well, whack, don't put this shit up online. Bro. Nah, what's this? Oh, fuck them niggas. Nah, but still, don't. It's going up. It's already online. It's online that the niggas tried to rush you, and you ain't told me shit. It's everywhere, nigga. It's everywhere that the niggas tried to rush you. They ain't say they put their hands on you. I just said the little homie gonna squabble up. I thought it was just one. Now you telling me them and eight niggas, so it's on. Yeah, but it don't need to be like that. Nah, that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna call you when I get back tomorrow. I'm gonna pull up on you. All right. They tried to get the little homie. Yeah, but whack they hot as they hot as fire grease right now. Leave those niggas alone. Man, they, man, I don't give a fuck how hot they is. They, 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 they hot. They hot. Yeah. Nigga, if we run into you, hot. nigga. If we run into you, act like it's 1995. Yeah. Period. They hot though. Now you go try to rush a nigga eight deep. That's crazy. I mean uh, rushing nigga eight deep. He shouldn't have got up out of there. No, I said, he should have been knocked yeah. out. Yo, look, that's crazy. That's crazy. And Ray J over there being sympathetic. You know what I'm saying? He want to leave it alone because he know. So they say Chris Brown stopped. Hmm. Well, Chris Brown did what he's supposed to do as a power rule, right? I keep telling niggas Chris Brown is racking up his points. You know what I'm saying? But he's pretty serious about what he's talking about. Another Ray day. J has been outspoken recently, not just about Diddy's controversies, but also about what he feels needs to be done for accountability. On Club Shay Shay, he didn't hold back, 
saying Diddy's actions were unacceptable and even suggesting a form of punishment he thought would fit. Plus, he went further on his own show, The Reality Check with Ray J, calling out the bizarre findings and discussing the ongoing court cases. His words definitely made an impact, and you can tell he's serious about this stance. So there you have it, a tense moment diffused by none other than Chris Brown. Ray J's really been leaning into a message of accountability, and his public statements have definitely stirred up some strong reactions. What's next in this ongoing story? Only time will tell. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Reup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more updates on everything going down in the industry. Catch you in the next one.